everyone, Mr. Neighbor here, and today we're going to talk about 11.3, motion and force. So first off, what is force? Force is a push or a pull. It's um, you tugging on something. It's something being pulled toward another object. It's some push or some pull. Its units are kilograms per meter per second squared, or it's called a newton. So these units are also referred to as N for one Newton. So the calculation for force is M times A, mass times average velocity. And force is a vector quantity, so it does have a direction to it. And the direction is coming from your acceleration. Your acceleration is a vector quantity. So you can see where the labels come from. The kilograms are the mass, the meters per second squared are the acceleration piece. And to make things easier when we have big labels, uh, phys physicists have come up with uh, a condensed version and named this one after Sir Isaac Newton, who studied a lot with force and gave it the N label. There are different types of forces. Most commonly, gravity is what people think about with force. Applied force is whenever you push or um, uh, tug on something. It's what you're applying to the situation or object. Uh, friction or air resistance is also a force. Those forces go opposite the direction. So if you think about someone with uh, a parachute falling, you have the gravitational force going down. The movement is going down. Uh, the air resistance then is the upward force. However, if you're driving and a parachute is behind the car, if you're driving this way, then the parachute will give an air resistance the opposite way. So it doesn't just mean up. Um, it could be any which direction. It's just opposite motion. And that's the same thing with friction. When you push an object like this computer as I'm pushing it away from me, um, the force I'm applying is that way. But because it's moving that way, the friction is opposing that motion. It's going this way. And then when I stop moving, the friction stops. And we'll get more into that later. Uh, springs have forces. So when you pull a string and stretch that coil, uh, it has a, a pull to it. And when you condense that spring, it then can be released as a push. So springs have force. Tension force, we think about with uh, strings or other ropes that hold things. Um, Tug of war right here is a tension force in both directions. Uh, electric force from different charges can push or pull. And magnetic force can push or pull, which is very, very similar to electric force. So a few more definitions with force. We use the term net force quite often, and that is the sum of all forces acting on an object. So before we were talking about a gravitational force on a parachuter, and then the air resistance force on a parachuter. So the net force would be, what is the dominating force? Add those together, is there one that dominates? So there'd be a gravitational force going this way from the center of the object, an air resistance force going this way. And when you add those together, the gravitational force, and then the air resistance force, the piece that is left over, the difference between those two, that is the resultant force. So it looks like this downward arrow is a little bit longer. So our resulting force is down. So the gravity overpowered their resistance. Uh, this is an example of an unbalanced force. So if an object has a net force, so there is an arrow right here, once you added those two forces together, its movement will change. It's going to accelerate. It's going to fall faster and faster and faster. If we have an unbalanced force, or sorry, if we have a balanced force, that means everything's canceling out and the object's movement will not change. Maybe this is an example of a balanced force where you have this tension force here, and this tension force here, so that when you add those together, put one tip to the other's tail, they line up at the same location. So there is no net force. There's a 
zero force there. So that's an example of balance. There will not be any acceleration. However, that doesn't mean there's no motion. Just because there's no motion doesn't mean there's no force. It, it just means that there's no net force. So all the forces are canceling each other out. This example that I depicted with the uh, tug of war, that's an example where the forces are canceling out. But you know there's a pull on this rope in this direction and a pull on the rope in this direction. So there are forces present. All right, so let's practice a few things. A car is traveling at 25 miles per hour north. When another car hits it from behind, making it go faster north, was there a net force present? So think about its motion, its movement. Did it change? If it's going at the same speed, 25 miles an hour the entire time, there would be no net force. But because there was a car that hit it from behind, making it go faster, that means, yes, there was a net force. All right. Two, a car is traveling at 25 miles per hour north again when another car hits it from the front, making it stop. Was there a net force present? So did the motion change? Yeah, it was going 25 miles per hour and then it got to zero. In order for that to happen, there has to be an acceleration present. Whenever your velocity changes, there's an acceleration. And whenever there's an acceleration, there's a force. Because remember, I put on that one side slide, F is equal to MA, the mass times the acceleration. We're not going to calculate anything yet until the next chapter. But if there's an acceleration, there's a number there, there's going to be a number there. So this is a yes as well. Number three, a car is still traveling at 25 miles per hour north at a constant speed. Was there a net force present? So is that speed changing? Is there an acceleration? No. So there is no net force. There are forces, but no net force. Everything's canceling out. A car is not moving. Is there a net force? No, there is no net force. That movement has not changed at all. It's no acceleration there. Five, a car is not moving and then speeds up. Was there a net force present? So was there an acceleration? Does velocity change? Yeah, it was zero and then it's going to something. Don't know what it is, but I know that if a velocity changes, there is an acceleration. So that means there is a force.